one of you did not hand in your homework. Amia, tell me. Me? But but Features Animation is a 3D animation company. We produce products like a short film, a color bandit, my homework. Uh, we are a team of eight people now, nine, eight people, and um, we're hardworking artists. And our aim is to create original African content and fill the airwaves with content that is inspiring to the next generation of African children. So Creatures started in 2015, January 1st, right? I'll never forget that. And um, I had come back from Malaysia, quit my job there, come back to start an animation studio because I felt that uh, coming back and putting my skills that I'd learnt into our community would be much more useful than a community that's already established. So we started it with my brother Robin in 2015 and um, we started working on projects, started trying to develop a company, trying to understand this whole business game. Uh, my favorite or my best moment so far has been completing a Calabar Date My Homework with a team. That has been my favorite moment because it proved everything that I've been saying for the past two, three years, which is that it can be done in the country and it can be done by a group of artists and it can be done well. So when we premiered it at the DJ Art Fest uh, 2017, that was my favorite moment because calling those guys out, calling the entire team out and actually saying these are the guys who worked on it is one of my proudest moments so far. So. The hardest time has been also dealing with the fact that you are, you are, you are you're creating a new category in the country and you're climbing uphill. So the past three, two years, the two years in the beginning were really hard because you're trying to make everyone understand what you're trying to do and why you're doing it. And you can't blame them for not understanding and that includes friends, family, right? They can't understand it and you're, you're on this crazy ride of, of like, why are you doing this? Why you doing this? You could, have, you could have done this. You should go and get a job. You should go and do this. And I just quit a job. So, and, and all the job offers that I was getting at the time, the job that I had quit were much better. It was, was much better, sorry. So I kept on just going and like, it's like just that, 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 that storm, right? That was around during that period, that, that whole first, those first two years was really tricky. So that was the hardest time. And, um, yeah, I think it has gotten better, but I feel like we can still get better, so, yeah. One of the people who inspire me is J.K. Rowling. I'm a big fan of Harry Potter and uh, the imagination that, goes, that went into those books. Another thing that inspires me is um, one of my favorite animations, which is Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm a big fan of that show. Um, also a big fan of, in the anime world, they also skew a lot very anime. I'm a big fan of Hunter x Hunter. That's my favorite anime so far. And I can sneak Death Note in there. Those are three things. Then movies, my favorite movie is called City of God. It's a Brazilian movie. I uh, recommend that you watch it. And uh, the fifth thing for me is actually parents, right? Because like they, they trusted me enough to do this and they kept on supporting me, even if in the beginning they were a bit <laughs> shaky about it, but they came, came around and they've actually been very supportive. And I'm going to sneak in a sixth one. Um, I really feed off of teamwork, so I would say that my team and ever growing. When it was three people, the third person, the other two people, sorry, were inspiring me. When it was four people, the other three people were inspiring me. So it's, I, I get a lot of energy off of that. So those are the things that inspire me. Um, my advice would be to get something you like and get very good at it. The reason why I say this is because we're living in a very skill-based time whereby people will value you according to what you can offer them. And if you're not really good at it, there are going to be a thousand other average people out there. So you have to get really good at it so somebody can actually value you and be willing to work with you. And and there are many opportunities out there for people who are valuable. So my advice is just, just find something that you really like, spend time perfecting it, 
and get really good at it. That's my advice.